Hello, my friends, welcome. Wonderful to see and feel you all. I so appreciate technology when it works. We had a little hiccup with technology this morning, so we pulled it out. Only took three of us, but we, we pulled it out. Ah, so um, our love in action is really about what we sometimes call the how of consciousness. Because a lot of people, for example, uh, have been saying in the last few years, just move from fear to love. That's all you need to do is just move from fear to love. And we go, okay, how do you do that? So I want you to notice when you look on social media and, you know, big um, blogs that people have, when they tell you just move out of fear, um, I'd like you to contact them and say, how? How do we do that? So that we're not just running around in the intellectual or the head centered uh, sense of transformation. So what we're really up to is utilizing the power of our own attention, our awareness. I sometimes think of awareness as the pool and the, that attention is the way that you aim it. So it really is a combination of your own experience of presence and then where you're aiming that. Are you aiming that toward you and or are you aiming that toward the outside? And loop of awareness is really an attention pump. It's really an awareness booster that by actually moving your awareness with your attention, aiming your attention in different ways, you increase your ability to enjoy more and more presence and being in the same place as. And I've often defined love as being able to be in the same space with something else. So I'd like you to just check something going on inside you right now that you're having difficulty in being with. It could be something about your experience. It could be body sensations. It could be uh, feeling something that's going on currently in your life. But I'd like you to just locate where in your body are you feeling that, you know, gritchiness or flatness or overwhelm or uh, numb, you know, where you're not feeling as much circulating in there. And in a moment, I'm going to have Michelle, do we have our little video ready to go? Super. In a moment, I'm going to have Michelle uh, air a video of bubbles. Last week in the middle of the night where I get a lot of my ideas, I had the word bubbles pop up. And I realized that in me over the years, as I've developed this flow of consciousness, I experience it in my body as little champagne bubbles. So there's this, there's this sense of bubbling that gives me a very pleasant experience when I tune into me. So I'm not tuning into me with my intellect of why is this happening? I'm really tuning into what's occurring. And what I'd love for you to do is first of all, give your attention to somebody in the group that you're just drawn to like, oh, oh, I just really, mm, your face or your colors or the way you're smiling today. And I'd like you to notice that and appreciate it. And then I'd like you to turn your attention toward that place in you using that same mm, and giving it to yourself. And I'd like you to do that a few times. So looking at somebody in the group and going, hmm, hmm, and then give that same hmm to you, whether that's just with your awareness or whether that's with some touch or with sound or moving or all three, so that you're just letting yourself shift your attention. Because the other, one of the other things we're practicing is that we get stuck. And I think a lot of what happens right now is we get stuck out 
And when I do that, I get a crick in the back of my neck. It's like, you know, I've got my head so far out in front of me. Coming back to you, I'd like to you to let your attention circulate while you're watching this video. Just notice what it's like for you to incorporate bubbles. They can be bubbles that are moving through you. There are, could be bubbles that are moving through your blood. And again, letting your attention just circulate so that you're taking that same, hmm, how could I give that to the place that's feeling stuck or flat? That light kind of bubbling awareness. I also love the way this little girl it was breathing. So, and the interest that we all have in bubbles and just the whole ephemeral, here they are and there they go. And it also reminds me that circulation is the very best thing that we can do for ourselves, for our well being. So, notice if you'd be willing to let those bubbles flow through that area that feels meh to you today, or flat or stuck. Ah. So bubbles. So take a moment and just notice how are you experiencing bubble world? I was just thinking about all of the bubble wrap that we're dealing with these days. What if that could be replaced with bubbles that could then dissolve once they get to the place where they're going? So that whole sense of lightness inside. So notice any place that feels heavy inside. <clears throat> and let yourself do some love scoops with that place. Just reaching out into the wonderful world of presenting bubbles that's all around you all the time and give that to that overwhelmed place or that stuck place <clears throat> so that you're Letting yourself love it as it is. Now, when you bring your love scoop into yourself, let yourself meet your touch from the inside. So let your face, for my example, I'm letting my face meet my hands. And so my awareness is right there where my hands and my face meet. So one of the things that I've learned in the last many years is the power of meeting what's happening to me from the inside. So I come to meet it with my awareness. So let yourself now look at somebody else in the group that you're attracted to, just, oh, I like just, hmm, something about you. Let yourself, hmm, about that. So you're doing a, hmm, with your attention out. And then bring that, hmm, as a light love scoop into you. I'm doing little bubble moves with my love scoops. Bringing that into you and then meeting your love scoop from the inside. So as I'm doing that, <clears throat> I can feel the, my, the vibration of my sound. I can feel the expansion of my breath. And I can feel myself meeting me from inside and from outside. This is such an incredibly valuable practice. For me, it, it one, I get located. I'm, and I also I wake up my own agency. So it's not just happening to me. I'm meeting what, I, what is happening around me from the inside. So the practice <clears throat> is to notice something. Now it could be people in the group, but it could also be something in your world that you appreciate. Like I have this beautiful plant over here that has uh, peach and gold and green in it. And so I'm just appreciating that. 
and I'm appreciating it until I can feel the quality of appreciation inside me. And then I'm going to bring it back to me and I'm going to move it to any place where I've been feeling the, like I can feel it, especially around my eyes, been feeling just lots of sadness. And so my can feel that my touch wants to just kind of gently stroke. So your love scoops could be very big. They could also be very exquisitely tiny. And what I'm noticing is that as I meet that from the inside, as I meet that with my own awareness, oh, it expands my breath. <clears throat> it expands my presence. And so what we're doing is bringing consciousness and awareness and touch all together so that you can amplify your experience of presence. And that you can do that no matter where you are and no matter what else is going on around you. <clears throat> so now let yourself see if you can do that just simply with your awareness. So you're looking outside and you're looking with appreciation and noticing where you land. Ah, and then letting that appreciation bubble its way back to you and let it land any place in your body where your body's going, oh, please me, me, now me. I've been waiting a long time, now me, please. So maybe a place in you that you neglect. Like how many times in this last week have you given attention to the backs of your knees? So I want to invite you to do that, that bubbling attention into the backs of your knees and let yourself meet that attention with your awareness. When I do that, uh, my feet start bouncing up and down. They go, oh, thank you. So you may notice that the rest of your body wants to respond to that because we generally treat our bodies as workhorses and then get very confused when they break down. So what if you were to treat your body as your own uh, lava lamp? <laughs> this is an old reference to the 60s and 70s where the bubbles arise and move around. Hmm. So that circulation of, and my invitation to you over the next week is to come to meet because a lot of what happens right now with all of the crises that are going on is that we can just get overwhelmed and go into faint. And so that's why I'm recommending a lot of love scoops right now. But love scoops, if you're just going through the motions and you don't meet yourself from the inside, doesn't have as much power. So the shifting of your awareness and then you're meeting yourself from the inside. So for example, if somebody you know, gets grumpy or irritable at you and the, you feel that coming at you, how can you meet that from the inside with your own loving presence so that you don't abandon yourself? And then when you get filled out with your own, you know, your own bubble lamp, you can choose how you want to respond to that attention coming at you. Hmm. Thank you so much for playing with me today. And here's the thing, you're gonna forget. And so you're going to have the pleasure of forgetting and remembering and forgetting and remembering. And you can use the recordings of these to help refresh, to support you in your practice. Yeah. And um, thank you for joining me today and for joining each other. And bubbles of love to you, bubbles to me, bubbles to you. <laughs> All right. Much love till next time. Bye now.